You want to be a hero in Star Wars Battlefront, do you? But you're not really sure what it entails? Well, here's a quick rundown for you. First of all, the hero is faction specific. For example, on Hoth, Darth Vader is the hero for the Imperials, and Luke Skywalker is the hero for the Rebel Alliance. You can only have two heroes active at one time, one Luke and one Vader in our example. To be able to play as the hero, you'll need to find one of the appropriate power-up coins located on the map. These are interspersed with standard vehicles and weapon coins as well, and are spawned randomly. There are a few times where I saw the coin and it changed back into another one of the vehicle or weapon coins as I approached it. I think this feature has been added to stop people camping the location of the coins in an attempt to play as the hero continuously throughout the round. This was an issue I first noticed when I played the game back in June. Once you've seen the coin and run into it to pick it up, you'll see an icon appear in the bottom right hand corner under the three star cards in your hand. There's a timer that counts down to tell you that you need to activate the hero. If you don't activate the hero, you'll lose the coin and the power-up slot will become empty again. This, again, is to stop people hoarding the hero ability and not letting others use it. This timer system is also present on the vehicle coins too. Once you've activated the hero coin, you'll enter a small cutscene showing the hero entering the battle and then you're back on the map. But be careful where you activate the coin, as you can be killed in the short activation time of the hero. And it's likely you'll be spawned in a different location to where you activated the hero, but I'm not really sure what the reason is behind that. When you're back in the game, you'll be presented with the hero and their three abilities, much the same as any of the rebels or imperials who you're fighting for or against. For example, Vader can force choke rebels individually, or throw his saber across the map and slice through multiple enemies. And Luke can speed attack enemies with his saber and force push back multiple enemies at the same time. The more enemies you kill as a hero, the longer time you will have to be with the hero. If you take too much damage, you'll eventually be killed. Both of the heroes have a heavy attack as well, which can lead to a really awesome event during the game. If both heroes are active at the same time on the map, if they come together to battle and happen to heavy attack each other at the same time, they'll enter a clash of sabers, just like in the trailer. It's then down to whoever can force the other back out of the clash that then has the advantage to finish them off. You can see the clash from two different viewpoints here, and even though the footage was captured in an empty server, you can see just how awesome it'd look if the battle was raging on around them. So that's how to be a hero and how to use them. Get yourself out there and try them out for yourself if you can get your hands on them. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up down below with a comment. Let me know what you think. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.